the best way to call people to Islam is kindness and good character. And through this, even the staunchest of enemies can become the most valiant of allies. And so here is the story of Thumama ibn Uthal. Thumama ibn Uthal was a man from the Banu Hanifa and was the ruler of an area known as Yamama. In the sixth year of the Hijrah, the Prophet wasallam sent out letters to every ruler in Arabia, calling them to the truth of Islam. However, when Thumama received the Prophet's message, he was consumed by anger. How dare this man from Quraysh claim that he was to answer to him? Thumama refused the invitation. More than that, he wanted to kill the Prophet of Allah. Eventually, this hatred for Allah, his messenger and those who follow him led Thumama to kill some of the companions. And thus, the Prophet declared Thumama a wanted man. Sometime afterwards, Thumama decided to visit Makkah, performing Umrah as the pre-Islamic Arabs would, not to Allah, but rather to the hundreds of idols that lay around the sacred house. As Thumama was passing by Medina, an incident occurred. Groups of the Sahaba were patrolling the districts of Medina and any outlying areas, looking for anyone who could be brewing trouble. One of these groups spotted Thumama and felt something was off about him. They didn't know who exactly he was, but they took him back to the Prophet regardless. They waited for the Prophet ﷺ to come, and the moment the Prophet laid eyes on him, he said, O my companions, do you know who you have brought? They said, No, O Messenger of Allah. This is Thumama ibn Uthal al-Hanafi. The Prophet then ordered that Thumama be tied to a pillar in the masjid. However, he then did something strange. He ordered food and water to be brought to the prisoner. In fact, he milked his own camel and fed him with it. The Prophet then approached Thumama and said, What do you have to say? Thumama responded, O oh Muhammad, if you want to kill me in response to what I did, then go ahead. If out of your mercy you want to forgive me, then you will find me amongst those who are grateful. And if you want money in compensation, I shall give you whatever you want. The Prophet then left him for two more days, still checking up on him and sending him food, drink and milk from his own resources. Then the Prophet went again and said, O oh, Thumama, what do you have to say? And once again Thumama said the same, If you want money, I will pay you whatever you want. If you want to forgive me, I will be grateful. And if you want revenge, then you can kill me. The Prophet then left him once again and came back to him the next day. He asked one more time, what do you have to say for yourself? And once again, Thumama said the same as he had said before. The Prophet then turned to his companions and said, set him free. Once he was set free, Thumama left the masjid quickly and rode off until he came to a grove on the outskirts of Medina. He let his camel drink and bathed himself, taking some time to think. Back in the masjid, some of the Sahaba thought, why did the Prophet ﷺ free this man who had the blood of their companions on his hand? And in that moment, Thumama walked into the masjid. There he stood in front of all the Muslims, and he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad al-Rasul. He went up to the Prophet وسلم, and said, Ya Muhammad, by Allah, there was never on this earth a face I hated more than yours, but by Allah now it is the most beloved face to me. There was never a religion I hated more than the religion of Islam, and now I love it more than myself. There was never a city I hated more than this place, but now this is the most beloved place on earth to me. O Messenger of Allah, I killed some of your men. I am at your mercy. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Ya Thumama, 
After entering Islam, there is no blame on you. Thumama smiled in happiness and he said, By Allah, I shall place all of myself, my sword and my wealth, whatever I have, in the service of you and Allah. O Rasulullah, when your men captured me, I was on the way to perform Umrah. What should I do now? O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Go and perform your Umrah, but perform it according to the laws of Allah. The Prophet then taught him how to perform Umrah in accordance to Islam. Thumama left walking towards Makkah and he became the first man to call upon Allah as one should when entering the sacred city. <laughs> O oh Allah, here I am at your command, here I am. You have no partner, here I am. Praise be unto you, bounty and dominion belong to you, no partner you have. And thus he became the first person on the face of the earth to enter Makkah reciting the Talbiyah. Hearing the sound of the Talbiyah, the Quraysh came forward with anger in their heart. They drew their swords and set out to kill the one who was calling it. With no fear, Thumama raised his voice and proclaimed even louder, Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, inna alhamd wa na'mata laka wal mulk, la sharika lak. And upon hearing his voice, one of the Quraysh realized who he was, and he called out, Wait, don't you know who this is? This is Thumama ibn Uthal, ruler of Yamama from the Banu Hanifa. By Allah, if you harm him, his people will cut your supplies, and we will starve. Immediately the people put away their swords, and they said to Thumama, Have you given up? Have you abandoned the religion of your forefathers? And Thumama defiantly replied, No, but I have decided to follow the best religion. I follow the religion of Muhammad Thumama then turned to the people and said, I swear to you by the Lord of the Kaaba that when I return to Yamama, not even a single grain of wheat will reach you until you follow the Messenger of Allah. Thumama performed his Umrah as the Prophet وسلم, had instructed him and he went back to his land. Upon his return, he cut off all supplies to Quraysh. This boycott of Thumama was a stranglehold on Makkah. The people of Quraysh began to starve until the leaders of Quraysh wrote a letter to the Prophet saying, O oh Muhammad, in the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, you said that you would maintain the bonds of kinship, but you have cut bonds. You have killed and caused death through hunger. Thumama ibn Uthal has cut off our supplies and inflicted us harm. The Prophet wasallam, being a man who honoured his treaties, upon finding out of Thumama's boycott, commanded him to lift it. And Thumama, being loyal to the Messenger of Allah, did so without question. Thumama would spend the rest of his life in the service of Allah, his Rasul and his religion. However, when the Prophet ﷺ passed away, many of the Arabs began leaving the religion of Allah. And unfortunately, it was from Yamama, the land of Thumama, that Musaylama al kadhab came out. But Thumama stood firm. He turned to his people and said, O oh Banu Hanifa, beware of this matter. There is no light or guidance in it. By Allah, it will only bring you distress and suffering. O oh Banu Hanifa, there shall be no prophet after Muhammad وسلم, and no prophet to share in his mission. And then Thumama read the verses of Quran. Amen. 
تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب ذي الطور